Yo, what's up? Welcome to another episode of 5 Minute Indies, the only series on YouTube that has a time limit in the title, but it's never actually that time. This week I'm bringing you a really, really interesting concept on a, another indie game called Super Mash. It's developed by Digital Continue, which was founded in early 2016 by a group of guys just real passionate at, about creating innovative experiences for PC and console. And you may know them from a game that was given away on the Epic Store not too long ago called Next Up Hero. Now, you might be thinking, what is Super Mash? Why would it be called that? Well, basically, it's every type of game you would ever want all built into one. In 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 the game, players can blend together iconic genres like shooters, role playing, fighting games, adventure games, action, role playing, Japanese role playing, platformers, and you could choose two of those and make your own game, or you could choose two of the same and just make a platformer or just make a role playing game. Like, like the the combination I've been playing and pretty and and pretty much enjoying is uh, platformers, as you see from the other episodes of Five Minute Indies that I wholeheartedly enjoy, mixed with shoot 'em up games. And to be honest with you, I never thought I would be a fighter pilot in on a Mario level. That just blows my mind. Now, you, you're you probably wondering now, if you made it this far into the video, what parts of the game do I like? What what makes the game... What makes the game actually worthy of a 5-minute Indies episode, other than the fact I don't really have anything else to review? It's just the fact that it you can make your own game to suit whatever you feel like playing at that time. You p purchase the one game, and you can turn them into hundreds of others. Even if you set platformers and shoot them up, every time you you turn on the in-game Super Mash console, it gives you a different game every time. Like I had it. I had one game with those two genres where I was a fighter pilot on a Mario level, but I was but then uh, I did the same combination again, and I got like I was an ice cube defeating and fighter pilots. So they do have some sort of an overlap. I mean, they can all, 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 only fit so much stuff in, into a game. You can't can't expect them to have every single option for millions and millions of games so there's bound to be some type of overlap there but it basically gives you unlimited replayability as long as that's the type of game that you want to play and if you're super worried about oh well what if i find a game that i like how how can I make sure that's the the that's the exact game that you get? Well, luckily they they were smart enough to p p put in a mash save option. So if you get the game that you absolutely want to play over and over and over, after you beat it, all you have to do is click save, and it'll be on over here on the shelf, and you can play it whenever you want. But unfortunately, there uh, there is one glaring issue with the PC version, at least the one I have, and that's the controls. When you start the game, I 
and you have your controller on, you can easily skip past the initial, like, start screen. And then right after that, if, if you don't, if you don't have your controller, it says, uh, this game's best played, played with a controller, which is cool. I 100% agree because keyboard and mouse is not ideal for the majority of games that it offers. However, as soon as I clicked past that, my controller wouldn't work. I tried every option that I could with several different controllers that I know I use all the time on the PC. It just wouldn't work. So I I I un I understand that your mileage may vary. I might be doing something stupid on my side. I understand. So I'm not like gonna completely slam the game about it, game because of it but unfortunately that leads us to the next part and that next part is if I recommend the game while it does have a lot of really really awesome options right at this present time I can't entirely recommend the game. I mean, it's out for PC on Steam and the Epic Store. It's out for the Switch. It's out for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So, I would recommend it on the consoles, but as for a as for buying it on the PC, I I can't sit here and recommend it. The controller issues that I was having, I just, I can't get past it because it's way too cumbersome on keyboard and mouse and you can't really bypass it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Watch your f and and let me know down below what your favorite indie game of all time is it a game that i've reviewed is it a or is it something brand new i should check out let me know and i'll catch you guys next week for another episode of five minute indies